Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to make our first uh, graphical user interface uh, 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 program and uh, for this, as I uh, told you in introduction, you need a, a C compiler which has a, a graphical user, user interface and uh, I have lab windows, national instrument lab windows uh, which you can uh, uh, search in Google and use the uh, National Intru Instrument Lab Windows and you can uh, get a 30 days uh, trial and after you are uh, satisfied you can purchase I, uh, I am going under program or start and select the uh, uh, National Instrument Lab Windows CVI and uh, and in the start you are going under new select project from templates and I am going to call it example and I am going to put it under CVI and I have made the uh, I have made the GUI directory and I'm going to put it there and the example project uh, creators and I'm going to select OK and the, the program automatically created a, a example project with example.uer and example.c the C uh, uh, program which we are going to replace our codes and in UER we are going to uh, uh, we are going to design our project and in this uh, UER file you have automatically a panel uh, frame and that panel is very important in uh, uh, graphical user interface because you can replace all your commands by right clicking on panel you can use a, a command button ok and double click on it and because uh, in, uh, in a graphical user interface in uh, lab windows all those uh, commands has a callback function and because uh, I want going uh, when I am running the uh, program I select on this icon and it happens something that is because it needs a callback function and I am uh, telling uh, and I am calling it uh, part one and uh, I am going to change the label to as part one and in the in this uh, area at the right you can see the preview of your icon how it uh, looks like and it is okay okay uh, callback name <coughs> shouldn't have any space between and we are going to use a uh, part one and it is okay and uh, I am going to uh, put a quit button on the custom control quit button and move it down there and now I am going under code generate generate all codes or all callbacks or all codes it's going to uh, tell you that it is uh, your panel and call it the variable name is panel handle and you are going to accept OCO yes yes and OCO and in this C uh, source it has automatically include, included uh, uh, the original uh, uh, the original uh, header files and your example.h which is uh, connected to your uh, project and you must include include 
toolbox.h which is uh, for uh, our uh, design of our panel and project and uh, it's going to uh, uh, translate or convert to binary codes of those and in panel callback uh, all callbacks are functions with different parameters the most important parameter in that is event it is what is happening it is what is uh, happening when uh, we run the program and the event which is important for me in this uh, tutorial is uh, how I am going to close the uh, panel and I'm going to use uh, quit user interface zero which means that when I am running the program it appears across and when I select the cross it uh, uh, finishes the program and also in quick call quit callback which is uh, uh, that I can it is also a, it stands even coming when I am uh, selecting the quit it's going to stop the program and I don't use uh, uh, the other events I don't need the other events and I am going to delete it and I am going to move this one after the panel callback it doesn't matter but uh, it is for myself and the uh, part one is that icon and I am going to it uh, the uh, important uh, event case is even commit uh, which uh, when I am selecting the uh, button it happens something and we are going to see what is happening and uh, <coughs> the first thing I want to see what is happening is uh, that it appear a message pop up uh, with a message and at the right you have a library with all those functions and when I am going to uh, under find I am going to use message message uh, pop-up it appear a message or prompt pop-up and you are going to open it and use and select the message pop-up double click on it and it appear a frame with the title message pop-up and in message pop-up you have a title and I'm using C uh, programming and the message is hello I am learning C and when you are finished with this you are going to keep control key and press I button and your message is up here your function is appear here now I am going to compile and it is built succeed and you can compile by pressing that icon or under build you can use compile example.c and you are going to run you can use run here or you can select the debug uh, project or uh, run as you see your panel appear here and you have uh, that cross to uh, exit the program or uh, uh, press the quit to exit the program when you select the part one it appear or message pop up with the 
title C programming and R message. Hello, I am learning C. You press OK and you press uh, quit. Okay, as you see, as we saw in the message uh, pop up uh, uh, in our message pop up uh, frame, we saw that you can, because you can go back to the frame, press control key and press P button. You see that the message in a, is only a string and it is used for only string. It is a title and your message which is only a string. But if I want to use another type of uh, variables, it is uh, it is okay, it is uh, it is possible to convert a variable to string. I am going for example to use char name uh, er, an array of name which is a string. I am using Fariba which is my name and I am going to use integer score 100 and I am going to use a float variable t 19.7 uh, and I am going to use a boolean s is true and as you see char int float they are blow which means that they are global uh, variable type but not boolean boolean is not global uh, type variable but we can define it uh, we can uh, we can uh, define it here uh, variables and we can define uh, a type def enum and enumeration with the uh, true false as uh, its uh, variable and I am going to uh, use uh, boolean that enumeration name is boolean and I am going to separate and using here main and I am going to separate here to it is only um, I will call back functions and uh, as uh, we so when we uh, saved or uh, when we use a callback uh, generate callback it appeared in the C and in the main function it is automatically it uh, 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 use uh, conditions and panel handle is a variable and a static uh, integer variable which uh, uh, is connected to our panel and uh, in this we are going to uh, use a load panel with that UER IR, uh, uh, file and uh, we are going to display panel display panel panel handle and we are going to display the panel when we run the program it displays and shows that panel and its context and the run user interface it's running what is happening in all our callback uh, callback uh, function which are uh, uh, connected to our design in uh, um, in our panel which is the uh, icons in this uh, in this uh, example and 
when we use a quit or press the cross in the panel it's going to discard the panel or this uh, finishes the panel which is uh, our program and uh, return zero and it's uh, 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 and it's uh, closed or finished now when uh, we are uh, running or compile it our uh, program to see that uh, that panel is uh, that uh, boolean is uh, correct we are uh, we have uh, got four warnings that uh, we have defined or um, declared uh, few uh, uh, few variables without using them and it is okay it is okay but uh, in the tutorial number uh, uh, 29 and 30 I have uh, described for you about the functions uh, of uh, uh, I to A integer to uh, string conversion and float to string conversion in C program in usual C program you have a conversion of string to integer and conversion of string to floating uh, in inside the studio.h but uh, in, uh, in C we haven't in opposite way that is because I have uh, made a program in um, uh, in uh, C. Uh, I have defined the two function to make an integer to a, a string or a float uh, a variable to string, and uh, I have uh, I have uh, described in. Uh, uh, tutorial 29 and 30 how it works and I don't need to uh, go through again here uh, and I am going only to copy and paste in our program and as you see your uh, function definition it must be before the <coughs> before the uh, before the main function and I'm going to use the uh, functions and use it here and uh, I am going to def uh, copy the definition of functions copy the definition of functions from here copy and I'm going to replace it in the end I'm going to use function definitions and I'm going to put here now I am going to use uh, I am going to use the message pop-up again copy V and I am going to use only name which is an string and I am going to use uh, I to A score and put it in the name and I am going to use the same message pop up I am going to use F2A of T and name and I am going to uh, call the message pop up and I am going to use a condition if S equal true message pop up and I am going to use true write true 
else message pop up and use false now I am going to compile and I am going to run the program now I am going to press 1 the first message is happening it appears here hello I am learning C and then it appear the second it is the name which is Fariba and then it is happen the score the integer to string which is hundred and it is correct and then it's appear the floating number 1975 as as a string and then the boolean is true which here I have initialized this as true and it is okay now we are going to use it quick now I am going to change that one is uh, 67 and I am going to change it as uh, 1.173 and I am going to change it to false and I am going to run it again and press 1 yes it is correct it is Fariba it is 67 now and it is 1.173 uh, 1 and it is false ok the program is works and it is all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial